Hello, have you ever thought about how satellites maintain their accuracy? This video aims to talk about a very specific problem called Foucault's pendulum that can affect many services such as satellite communication and even space travel. Imagine a large pendulum above the North Pole as shown. The pendulum is attached to a universal joint meaning there is no preferred direction of oscillation. In this system, the pendulum oscillates in the direction of its momentum, meaning a straight line. The frame of reference is an external one. We can see the Earth spinning beneath the pendulum, so this is from the pendulum's perspective. From a polar orientation, we can see the oscillation looks like a straight line over the North Pole. If we switch to an earthly frame of reference, meaning we are spinning with the Earth, we can see the pendulum appears to map out a floral pattern. This pattern happens because the Earth spins under the pendulum. After each oscillation, the position under the axis of oscillation rotates very slightly. As we are fixed in relation to the Earth, we see this as the axis of oscillation rotating over time. This is Foucault's pendulum's problem. So the importance of this effect can be seen in orbiting satellites, or for a better analogy, a TIE fighter orbiting a Death Star. In this example, the Great Band is a neutral zone with no defences. The rest of the Death Star has defences that if flown over will eliminate the TIE fighter. The orbital path shown is a desired path, with the satellite following the neutral zone as it rotates beneath it. From the Death Star's perspective, the orbit follows a constant latitude. This orbital path shows an unadjusted orbit of the TIE fighter, and is essentially a 3D pendulum producing a 3D floral pattern. We can see this when it oscillates around the Death Star. It forms a figure of eight motion. This is clearer from an external frame of reference where you can see the Death Star spinning underneath the TIE fighter. By abstracting the problem to a 2D pendulum over the pole of the Earth, this effect is easier to quantify. The precession could be controlled, keeping the satellite on trajectory and keeping your Google Maps accurate and reliable.